Hello and welcome to Farmbook. Uh, we uh, Julie's and um, we're going to talk to Simba and uh, he's going to talk to us about this planter, no tall planter behind me and he's going to explain to me exactly how it works, what we're going to do uh, and uh, the benefits of uh, this little beauty behind me. Simba, welcome uh, to Farmbook and thank you for talking to us. How are you? I'm great. I'm doing great and welcome to Julius. Oh, no, I'll keep this here. <laughs> uh, no problem. Uh, to, uh, Simba, quickly take us. You've got two planters here. Uh, can you quickly just tell me the difference between the two? Right, uh, we've got the S4 Gia yeah. planter. We are an authorized dealer for the S4 Gia planter, which is an Italian model. Right, uh, this is a four row planter and okay. it's mounted, which means you have to hitch it on the three point linkage okay. for you to, to use it. Uh, this one is a six row planter. Okay, right, this six row planter is a trailed, is a trailed machine, so it means okay. you have to draw it, you don't draw have it. to hitch it on the three point planter. Okay. Uh, both machines are pneumatic machines, so these are precision uh, oh. planters. Perfect. So what it means is you are able to, the farmer is able to calculate uh, the plant population in okay. the field which they require at a particular uh, season. Okay. Right. Uh, it's interchangeable in terms of row size, mm -hmm. right, and you also can determine the a distance between the plants. Plants. Okay, so you exactly. can, so you can. Uh, so this in, in precision planting, I can show the data. I know exactly where I put every seed into the ground. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Let's quickly run in uh, from uh, from here from the front, right. straight through. Let's let, let us take everyone exactly on how this works. So in the front, we've got this box. Yes, exactly. Okay. These are the fertilizer boxes. Fertilizer box. Exactly. And, and then make there's sure an that auger. Okay. There's an auger inside. Mm. Yeah. There's okay. an auger yes. that's responsible for Just dropping it a little bit more again. There we and go. Okay. Yes. So that's where you drop your fertilizer from, uh, and through these pipes. Comes okay, to the so, 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 yeah. And this is important because because in a, in a uh, no-till environment, you need to make sure that your uh, in, your what do you say it, your ingredients, <laughs> your fertilizers in the ground before you plant. You can't do it. All. There's nothing happening afterwards. Yes. Okay. So okay. So you've got the fertilizer, and then uh, that is the fertilizer. Okay. And the plates will open the way for your fertilizer to drop. Okay. Right. Then next, you see these plates are your for crushing your thrust. Okay. Yes, your trash in the field. In the field. You know, okay. like we explained, that this is a minimum minimum till. Yes. Right. You you you. So you need to remove all the all the trash. All the trash on. The, right. Okay. So from there, mm. you go to the. Uh, seed boxes. Okay, let me just run around. Chica, chica, chica. Uh, okay, running around. Okay, then you have here the seed box, the seed and box. that's now opened opened up the the ground for us, so we can actually plant. Exactly. So okay. the seed comes through, sucked by the pneumatic. Like we said, it's a pneumatic okay. planter. Okay. So inside here we've got the plates. Okay. And like we said, uh, this is interchangeable. You can do seed soya, soya beans. Soya you can beans, do maize. maize. So what you simply do is change the plates inside. Okay, so right. So the seed will drop as per the settings that you put on the machines. Okay. Right. If Perfect. You, if you check on this other side. Oh, oh. no! It's, I nearly lost the cable. Okay, let me go this side. Right, from this side, you see you've okay. got gears. Yeah. And you've got settings. Yes. So the settings are whereby you can set whether you want the seed to drop at it's what distance. What distance? Part. Okay. Exactly. So these last plates. Are for closing on the seed when it's okay. going into the ground. So this ends the ends the seed bed, sort of close the seed bed at yes. the end of the day. So okay. you realize that this is offset from the seed, from the fertilizer. Okay. Drop. So fertilizer will be by the side, and the seed will be by the side. Okay, perfect. Exactly. Okay, thank you for taking us through this. Okay, okay. and this is a Turkish product that you guys are are uh, importing at the moment. Yes, the yes. Uh, S4 Gia planters are coming out from Italy. The Italy. technology is from Italy. Uh, it's from yes. Italy. Okay. So this sixth row is a trailed. Okay. So you don't have to worry about the size of the tractors. Okay. At least from 75 HP going up, you can be able to use the sixth row. Way. Okay, but perfect. On the four row, you need at least uh, an, a 90 horsepower. 90 because horsepower. Because it's lifting capacity of about 2,000 kgs. Because when this thing is loaded, you can do up to about two tons. Okay, Summer, thank you for talking to us. You're and uh, hopefully we can uh, talk a little more to you later on this week. No, that's fine. Thank you very much and welcome. Okay, the Eric, it's a Forger pneumatic planter. Uh, here from the guys at Dooley's. 
Uh, don't uh, miss the next video as we will be discussing some of the other products around here as well as the tractors and buses they do have available here. So, uh, until next time, I'm Tinas. Cheers.